All right, while we invite, invite uh, Tracy and Josh to please be seated, I'd like to ask everyone else to please rise. You guys can sit down. Guest of honor. The guest of honor. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to soak this up. Who made you best, man? I love it. I love everybody here. I might not have met you before, but I love somebody who loves you. Everybody here is connected to me by one degree of love. I love you. I know, I know I'm not supposed to use this as a political, a political platform. But I had it's election year, I mean next year. I want everyone to vote Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton 04. here, the people who know me and Josh best are here. Everybody's here. Everybody is here right now. It's all happening. It's all happening. <laughs> and the people who know us best remember that Josh used to beat the crap out of me. <laughs> Josh used to beat the crap out of me on a daily basis. And it wasn't just when I was five and he was 10, or when I was 10 and he was 15, but it was when I was 15 and he was 20, or I was 17 and he was 22. It went on for a long time. But the people who still know us, who's everybody here, again, Steve-O, know that we're best friends now. We're friends. I loved it. Yes. We're, we're friends now. But I want to take you back to a time when Josh still beat the crap. I'm going to tell you a story. I want you to picture Sicily, 1933. All right, okay. Picture. Picture. Jerusalem, 1994. A year after the Oslo Peace Accords, which I'm sure we all here know, made everybody in the Middle East love everybody forever. So the family took a trip to Jerusalem in 1994. There was good times in the Middle East. Wait one second. And we were in Jerusalem in the old quarter. I don't know if I, we've ever spoken of this since it happened. But we got lost. We got very lost. Very lost. And we were in the Arab section, the Palestinian section, because it's a divided city. It's like, uh, you know, Vienna 1946. So it was divided. And we were, we apparently, we looked around, there's no one around, and Josh is thinking, what are we going to do? I don't, and we're just standing there. And then I get hit in the back of the head really hard by a stone and it's not uh i mean this isn't like you know a palestinian you know it's like this is this is one of these like <laughs> like one of those and i get hit in the back of the head and it did it hurt, it hurt. <laughs> and the rest of the story is fuzzy because i was I got stoned in Jerusalem. <laughs> and, uh... Woo! That's the key. Okay. I got stoned in Jerusalem with Josh. And I turn around, and I'm hitting the back of the head, and I see the stone bouncing away. And I turn to Josh. I, there's no, I don't see the Palestinian youth who threw it at us. I don't think it was, you know, Muhammad Abbas Abu. Whatever. Okay. And Josh. Josh, this is the time when he used to beat me. But Josh was a big brother about it. And I turn to Josh and I say, Josh, I just got hit in the back of the head with a stone. It hurt. And Josh says, Really? 
And I say, yes. And he says, he says, let's go. And he grabs me and we go. I mean, it's fuzzy. I don't remember what happened, but we made it. And Josh was the big brother who, you know, even back when he beat me up, he was a big brother. He took care of me. And we, I vaguely remember seeing some Hasidic Jews and either, I think Josh said, follow those shoes. And we just, and we went and we made it. And there was mom and dad and we were alive, we made it. And now everything, and then we made it out of, of the, the Palestinian quarter alive. And here I am today. It could have been the end. So my point is, even though Josh used to beat the crap out of me on a daily basis, especially when on vacation, uh, especially on vacation, he was always a big brother. And he's, you know, obviously still my big brother. And Tracy, you're my big sister now. And I love everybody here, but I love you two the best. I'm gonna end now, I'm gonna end. Okay, I'm gonna end. It's good that I'm drunk because I'd be really nervous because everyone's looking at me. Everyone's looking at me. I love you. I love everyone here! Okay, I'm gonna end, and I'm gonna end with a quote, and you knew I was gonna end with a quote, from the boss, who said in Nebraska in 1982, Nothing feels better than blood on blood. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna... Joe Roberts, the best song you ever wrote about brothers. No. My name is Joe Roberts. I work for the state. myself now. I'll put myself now. <laughs> Freshman year, NYU, Rosh Hashanah. You remember what I said, La Mela, the Italian restaurant with the Cuban Jews from Texas. <laughs> I want you to all say it with me. You know what I'm going to say. This is it. I'm going out on this. It's, it's Hebrew. Can you do it? Yeah. Huh? 